Joel answer today we're in Hamilton Ontario that's right guys outside beyond the batter beyond the batter guys four cupcakes all the cupcakes guys today we're eating 200 freaking cupcakes that's right guys and this is for you all my lovely subscribers guys I love you guys so much we hit 200,000 here and today we are going to eat 200 cupcakes at least try to eat 200 cupcakes so this place has literally hundreds hundreds of different cupcake flavors so they set out a beautiful variety for me so essentially 200 cupcakes, I'm gonna try my best. Will I complete it? I don't know. You guys want me to push myself? This is definitely gonna push me, but undoubtedly, one of the first scratch bakeries in the area, a huge, delicious menu of cupcakes being the best cupcakes in the area, beyond the batter. Let's go have some fun. Let's show you some food. I can't wait. I'm so excited, everybody. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the continued support. Let's go eat 200 cupcakes. Try to eat 200 cupcakes. Try is the keyword. But let's have some fun. And again, thank you so much for 200,000. Let's keep that road going. Here we go for 300 and let's get rolling. All right, everyone, so here we are. 200 cupcakes. That's right, guys, celebrating 200,000. So again, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. So such a diverse variety of cupcakes. I don't even know where to start. These things look so, so, so good. Okay, so even though they have hundreds of different flavors of cupcakes, luckily I don't have to memorize them all today. Luckily, my mouth might memorize them, but wanna walk us through a few of these flavors? I like, I don't even know where to start with them. Okay, so there's pink champagne. Pink champagne. Cherry blossom, vanilla bean, watermelon wave, cherry cheesecake, maple bacon, chocolate cheesecake, s'mores, <laughs> raspberry gray, vanilla, Tiger tail, rainbow, eggy, banana cream pie. I don't even, I, I have no words. Banana cream pie, maple bacon. Dang, Nabbit guys, we're in for a hell of a treat. Hell right, to quote unquote. What's this one here? That's Big Dipper. Big, oh, this one? Man. All right. Well, hopefully I actually can eat all of these because I want to try them all. Um, either way, this is going to be so delicious. So let's get started here again. 200,000 thank you and huge thanks to Beyond the Batter. This looks phenomenal. So let's get started. You wanted me to push myself. This is going to push me to the limits. There is so many cupcakes here. Guess down below right now how much all these things weigh. And if somebody gets it right, oh, I'll let you know. But in that, so we might as well get started here. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. A little worried. I got my blood work done half recently. I have a video on that. My blood work might look a little different after this. But we'll get started here, guys. 200,000. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Let's go. Mm. Pink champagne. Mm. Getting some fruity aspects. This one's watermelon. I've never had a lot of mountain cake before. Mmm. Hot damn. That's delicious. Cheesecake. Oh. Wow. That was still. That's very good. Oh, I'll make a bacon. Mm. Damn, this is gooey. Which one's this? Mmm. Oh, Hot oh, damn. Use my language, but it's delicious. S'mores? Yes. I love s'mores. Mm. Oh god. Mmm. Very colorful. Tiger? Tiger Hill. Mm. Orange. Eggy? Mm -hmm. Oh, happy Easter, everybody. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. That was nice and soft. Mmm. We had a cream pot. Shout out to cream pot.
Nerd alert. Nerd alert. I'm wearing an appropriate sweater to be a nerd episode. Mm. 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 Very delicious. The flavors. Oh, peanut butter and jam. Mmm. Oh. Stuck to me. Peanut butter. Mmm. That's good. What's this one? Perfect. Mmm. Oh, I'm pretty good. Mmm, cinnamon bomb. I knew that one. <laughs> mm. What's this one? Mmm. Mmm. What about pretzel one? <laughs> What's this one? Mm. I guess that makes sense. Mmm. That's like punch. This one? Sorry, Kitty. Whoa! Try that. Hot damn! It is the prettiest cup that's ever had in my life. I love the flavor. So diverse. This is cool. This one? Sorry, Kitty. Ooh. Oh, strawberry. Oh. Oh. Oh well. Love them. These are really nice diversity too. Every bite, I'm getting something different. Is this a wonder good? Sure. Dirt cupcake. It doesn't taste like dirt. Mm. It tastes really good. What's this one? Ooh. <coughs> Water doesn't belong in your windpipe. Oh, keep talking up, please. I do. Ooh! I don't have bacon on it. Not vegan. Mm. Very delicious. I think it was just great. Right? Great? Right? Very much, yes, great. I just said great. Very good. How much? Mm. Mm. I was doing this well. I'm amazed how moist all these cupcakes are. <coughs> Getting folks water, not gentlemen, but very delicious, very moist. Mm. Sugar free though, right? <laughs> yeah. At least they can tell me it's sugar free. I won't believe them, but I hope. Mm. I should have my glucometer, blood sugars before and after. Mm. That big one, maybe bigger. Very delicious. Oh. That was cool. Cool for that? Mm. Oh, cool. Peanut colada vibes. Oh. However long in the cupcakes and chill. Now we made it through the two. Almost. It's not going to get any easier from here. I'll tell you that. I love the way I look well. And they taste even better.
Try to get some air out of me a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I have to be subject to all that. I mean, compliments to the chef. I'm always going by that. Blood sugars are already at 3,000. I can feel them rising. I feel really hot. And it's not hot there. Mm. What was this called? Man something? Man cake. Man cake. Mmm. What's this one? Coffee crust. Coffee crust. Mmm. Ooh. I like it. What's this one? More. Ooh. Maybe if I start on the K, maybe get through the K. I'm gonna flip flop. Let's go to the K. Hopefully, I'll be able to complete that. Then I can like try to get them down through the entirety. We did the two. We did the K. Let's try to go with the O's. Zeros. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here at Beyond the Batter and first off I just want to start by thanking you so much for 200,000 everybody. I totally appreciate you. The support has been amazing. I want to thank you for coming along with me on this journey. It has been a hell of a ride and I'm very, very thankful for you. So guys, 200,000, thank you so much everybody. Hi, I'm Philip. Can I say this one before? Can I help you Matt, I'll go to your proper work. I'll leave that dry. Next, let's talk about these cupcakes. Oh my gosh, is all I can say. These are by far the best cupcakes, the most unique cupcakes I've ever, ever had. So we're about almost 11 minutes in. I can't say it on. It's definitely the best cupcakes I've ever had. I can't believe a place could have hundreds of flavors of cupcakes. Excuse me. It was a really good memory. <laughs> and all of them are made from scratch. I bet your cupcake like recipe book worth a pretty penny. I don't know if you keep it, so it's in a very big fall. The flavors were great and the quality was just fantastic. Mm. Oh, blueberry. That is damn good. I love blueberry. Blueberry is one of those flavors that just speak to my soul. Well, I had somebody call me sweet the other day. I think it's gonna be a lot sweeter now. So here I am, lucky to have 202 different cupcakes in front of me. Um, the innovation is just ridiculous. Like, whoever thought of all these flavors, um, all the kinds, they are so beautiful, they're so well sculpted, and they are so flavorful. Like, I really cannot speak enough to the quality, the tastes, uh, everything about these cupcakes was perfect, and I enjoyed them so, so, so much. So a common question is, Joe, how did you learn to eat so much? That's a good question. So I'll start growing up in the harsh pain a little bit. Out there, it's eat or be eaten. So I had like a little polar bear just like every Canadian does. And you start to get really good. came a day where he challenged me. That's all young children, dogs, and animals do. He said, Joel, I'm going to eat you. And I said, you touch my ass, I'm going to f***. 
He goes, I'll be bleeding out. <laughs> I said, you touch me, I'm going to eat you. And you know what he did? He tested me. He poked me. And from there, I ate him. He now lives on my mantelpiece. True story. And in fact, it was me enjoying them so much, which, you know, led me to take my time, which, you know, who knows uh, if that'll pay off now or not. But really, I cannot speak again enough to the quality of the cupcakes um, and just beyond the batter in general. Um, all their items are absolutely fantastic. This one is bubblegum. I know because there's a bubblegum on it. Bubblegum. I guess I'll just eat the gum. I could chew for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go, kids. Don't swallow your bubble gum. Don't do anything I do. Mm. Oh, wow. That's bubble gum. <laughs> All right. Now, and then number two. So. Ooh. Ooh, blood sugar. Blood sugar. Right. I'll start on this O. See what we can do. Maybe we'll get to this O. If we don't die. Let's do this. I always say do or die. Don't die. <laughs> I have lived a pretty good life though, I will say. It's nice knowing you. Beyond the Batter is also a family-run business, so I have to give a huge thanks to the whole family there. Again, the hospitality was just outstanding. Um, again, I've spoke very highly of the cupcakes, and I really cannot say enough. I absolutely love them. I can't wait to take my mother to this place because my mother loves cake. She loves a good chocolate cake, and I know exactly where I can get her now a beautiful or a couple beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Actually, in fact, I get her like 100 beautiful chocolate cupcakes, maybe even 202. But again, I want to thank you all for 200,000. And really, this idea came from you. I asked you guys what you wanted to see, and you wanted to see cupcakes, you said. In retrospect, if I peeled them all before, I'm going to plow through a little quicker. And that's the difficulty I'm having now, just this blood sugar, like the blood sugars are rising so much, I'm just heating up. It's not that I'm full full. My sugar does weird things to you. Feel sharp. I'll take that out. Is that? My head's gonna drop. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Just start here. Ooh. Ah. Hey, guys, get good help. Treat your partners well. I'll give you any cupcakes I don't finish. <laughs> See, there you go. Mean. How it rewards. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh. This is the first napkin I've used. the pants y'all. Oh, plus 50 horsepower. Hold on. Let's get that button. Let's get all that zipper. Oh, oh. Woo! By golly, I'm a new man. Additionally, a lot of you have been asking me to really push myself, or at least a couple of you have, and so this is me absolutely pushing myself. This is a amount of food which I knew I would not finish, especially due to the nature of them being cupcakes, but hey, I figured I would give it my all to see what I could do, give it my best, and try to tackle and overcome the, uh, we'll say, difficulty that sugar provides. Sugar challenges, especially in this quantity, are so, so, so difficult because they just make you feel so hot. Always come prepared. They say proper preparation prevents poor performance. I have prepared nothing for this. <laughs> but at least I had an extra water bottle tucked away. Uh, will I tell you where it is? No. Do you want to know where it was? No. I'm just kidding. I was off. 
Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Heat is building. Intensity is building. Excuse me. I figured I'd get about 30 minutes of sugar before I really start to die. We're probably 20 some minutes now. 24 guys, so six minutes. Let's see what else we can do. Whew. So I figured I would have about 30 minutes before I started to feel like uh, absolute death with all these sugar. Um, hence, you know, coming on to that point, I really was starting to feel the sugar. It was definitely hitting me really, really hard. As like I said, eating sugary or high carbohydrate objects and items just don't sit the way other foods do. Akio, so I did some Googling and figured the likelihood of me dying from this. High likelihood, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah say, let's, hear some, let's hear some t statistics. 13.5 grams per pound before you die. <laughs> of your body weight. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're way over that. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh. You're dead now. <laughs> yeah, my car at home. <laughs> oh. Will you cremate me? Yeah. Or throw me in the ocean? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess you have the video proof of my death, so I no know. one will deny it. I know, since your mom told uh, what you want in there, what do you want? It'll be very clear as to how, like, how I died. <laughs> they won't really have to you know, perform any uh, investigations. <laughs> Imagine the popularity of that headline, man dies from eating cupcakes. There you go. But died in heavenly bliss of eating delicious cupcakes nonetheless. <laughs> oh, what's this one here? <laughs> I like it. I do like coconut. There's a lot of natural commentary in this video, so you know I hope uh, that stands and speaks a lot for itself. And I'm serious, comment below what you think all these cupcakes weighed, and if you get it correct, I'll pin your comment on the video. Got another water bottle. Oh. This one has a fuzzy peach on it. It's pretty cool. Mmm. Oh, wow. It tastes like fuzzy peaches. But ultimately, I just wanted to thank everybody involved. The, again, beyond the batter, I want to thank you all for 200,000. I can't just thank you enough. Um, and we're on our way at road to 300 right now. So let's definitely get that going there, guys. Appreciate you sharing the content, liking the content, commenting. It all helps spread the love. It helps spread the videos. And uh, at that, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Three minutes, guys. This is where I figured I'd probably start to die. And it's really happening. Starting to see the light. I'm gonna try to postpone walking towards it for now. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you, God. Uh. We'll also talk a little bit more about the strategy after this video, so be sure to check that out. Um, definitely interesting and definitely retrospect, you know, is key here because you learn a lot. So it's always nice to go through an experience and really learn from the experience. By the way, they said do this for you. Watch it. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I may die. It shows how much you mean to me. With that, everyone, thank you so much. Really appreciate you again. And at that, this is for you. This is celebrating you. This is your video. This is your day. So thank you again. I really appreciate you. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. And ultimately, let's see what happens. All right, so if you can't tell, I'm just absolutely dying here. I'm really gonna try to get through these. Oh, I'm 
definitely intoxicated by the sugar. Sugar intoxication. That's the hardest part. It's not that I'm absolutely full. It's more just like, I feel very impaired. It's really interesting. I hope nobody ever experiences this feeling in their lives. But I do hope you experience some of these delicious cupcakes. Shut up. Beyond the batter. Where today we go beyond the limits. Of beyond the batter and beyond human existence. Sugar. Oh. Oh. Shrimp Diet Coke, not being sponsored, but if you like to sponsor me, please contact me and contact me <laughs> down below. I'd love to get a sponsorship for you one day. Oh. Five minutes past my expiry. Why am I doing this? Because I actually have an answer this time. 200,000. Oh. I'm trying to do one or two more, but if I eat more, I'm just going to get sick. Oh. It's intense. Delicious flavors. But too much of a good thing is apparently a bad thing. Oh, you might find that out today. Mm. What flavor is that? Lemon? Yeah. Lemon? Yeah. This one's this? I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, this one's in caramel. Salty caramel. <laughs> Save me now. Ugh. About 39 minutes in. We're nine minutes past my expiry. I think I'm gonna have to stop. I could eat a couple more, but I'm just getting on the verge of getting sick and I really don't wanna do that. I really like them here. I prefer to keep these inside of me than outside of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, everybody, thank you so much for 200,000. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank Beyond the Batter enough. Great cupcakes. I absolutely enjoyed every single flavor. The flavors are so unique, so delicious. Um, so I know if you whether you know, whether I do a birthday, a wedding, a surprise gift for a loved one, cupcakes are the answer. And these are definitely the best cupcakes. Ooh, excuse me, I've ever had. Ever. Really, really good. I would love to keep eating them. I just can't eat anymore. I'm gonna get sick. So much sugar in one sitting. But everybody, again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Thank you for 200,000. Let's hit 300,000. We're on that road. We're heading steadily up that way. And that, just don't do what I do. Say that, I mean it. So, of course, the next time, say happy on the hungry. Happy eating. That's about it. Get yourself some delicious cupcakes. Until next time, everybody. And we have somebody eating some cupcakes. Look how good they look. They're freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't say enough. That one's really good. Which one did you have? A coconut one. Ooh. Yeah, there's so many good ones. They're so fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what was it? A total of, I think I had what? 70 left? 80 left? 83. 83. Wow. So, so you ate like what, one? About 120. Lots. I tried tried y'all but uh that's about it still kind of dying sugar to be honest
The crazy thing is just the intoxicative effects. Um, Kayla, what was our strategy though we thought of? Shouldn't have, should have taken the wrappers off first. Then you could have eaten more faster. Yeah. I should have been there a better team player. <laughs> should have been a better team player. Oh, I appreciate it. It's the thought that counts. But basically, the way I'd put it, which is true, and the way I feel right now, is it's not the fullness. It's just the drunkenness of the sugar. Like, legit feel like intoxicated. Good? Mm -hmm. Banana chocolate. Ooh. <laughs> That's it. It's just like this. So, anyway guys, don't eat that much sugar, wouldn't recommend, but I legitimately would recommend Beyond the Batter, like, everybody kept laughing at me when I was like, telling them, you know, I'm like, they're dying with my eyes closed, like, half passed out drunk, and they're like, and I'm like, but they're really good, and I really mean it, so, I liked it a lot, very delicious, guys, 100% would recommend, check it out Beyond the Batter, delicious cupcakes, um, birthdays, weddings, whatever it will be, and uh, again, thank you. For 200,000. Really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. It's your encouragement, guys. It's your motivation. And I tell you what, love to see those likes rack up. That help keep me going for uh, for going on. So 300,000. Here we come. Chocolate peanut butter. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. So till next time, everybody. I already said goodbye. But not actually peanut butter. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everything's not free. <laughs> um, but it tastes like peanut butter. It tastes just like peanut butter. Oh. Yeah, very good. The uh, That was fantastic. And now I'm going to show you a part of my videos you often don't see. I never show this. Why? Because you don't have to show this, guys. You can do good things for good people without being awarded, without being applauded. But for the record, because people do ask, what do I do with all the extra items? So I have lovely cupcakes back there. So we're going to go share some love, share some cupcakes with some individuals. And... Uh, God bless you guys. Stay warm. No matter what you've been through, we've all been through things in the past. But I appreciate you and know that somebody loves you. 2,000 years later. Hi everyone, so it's been a while since uh, we actually did the cupcake thing, but it's almost Easter now. And uh, so we were in the area, so I stopped on by Beyond the Batter. And I got some more items to try, so I figured I would show you as I try them. So I have a like eggy cheesecake bar. This is a lemon brownie. This is a Nanaimo bar. I'm not familiar with the Nanaimo bar. They're absolutely delicious. Uh, this one has eggs on as well, like the little eggy candies. A Nanaimo bar, from my understanding, is actually mostly a Canadian thing, originating apparently from Nanaimo, BC. So fun fact. Um, this is like a butter tart square, which I absolutely love. Here we have a uh, cherry cheesecake thing. And then this is... I don't really even know exactly what this is, but I think it's a s'mores bar or something along those lines. Um, which looks very delicious. And then... Here I got some cookies as well. Kayla likes cookies. So I do. We, so we got <laughs> this cookie, which I don't even know. I think it's like Kit Kat or something, some kind of chocolate cookie. We then have this one, which is I believe like a strawberry shortcake or cream cheese kind of thing. We got this one, which is a uh, cookies and cream cookie, and then this one, which is cool, this is a stuffed cookie. I actually don't know what's in it, but it looks delicious, two chocolate chip cookies with a beautiful stuffing in it. Ooh, it, it, sm so it smells really good. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm just going to try a bite. Hope you guys enjoy. Definitely some great baked goods they got going on there, and not just cupcakes. Diversity. So, let's give this a try, and... Uh, See what it's all about. All right, so start with the cookies. I chose this one first. Again, I believe it's Kit Kat. Kayla went with Oreo. Maybe? Yeah, like Oreos, cookies, and cream. Looks good. So uh, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> this tastes like an ice cream sandwich. A Dairy Queen mm -hmm. ice cream sandwich. This one's cookies and cream. It's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice and sweet. No shortage of sweetness. Well, the icing on top is really good, actually. Is it Kit Kat on top? Mm. Yeah. All right, cool. Should I try? Mm -hmm. mm. This tastes exactly like a like an ice cream sandwich. sandwich. Really good. Cookies and cream, but Oreos on top. Ice cream and a deep chocolate cookie. Is it like soft center? Hmm. It looks like it's all soft and it's kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Very chocolatey. Really nice chocolate cookie. Mm. That icing adds just like an extra layer of sweetness. 
That's like a very decadent chocolate cookie. Mm -hmm. Decadent. For sure. That's really, really good. Ooh. That's amazing, right? <laughs> Next, we'll try this one. The big filled cookie. These are, I think, a new specialty item. So I'm not, I, I guess it'd be probably icing in between. Um, and then obviously chocolate chip cookies. Can I try? Take one of your monster bites so I can get the ice cream. <laughs> so you can get the icing. Yeah. Monster bites. Here, I'll, I'll do a nice little bite. Joe, I, I have a small mouth. What are you talking about? Mmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a delicious chocolate chip cookie. Mm. That layer in the middle. Holy crap. <laughs> that is damn good. Not sugar free, but that is damn good. Mmm. Good? You don't like that. Alright, I think I'll look of it already. Ginormous. It's huge. It is a big cookie, actually. It's not good chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, it's a really, <laughs> really good cookie. Next, last cookie, this one. <laughs> I'm excited. What on earth? Damn! All right. Okay, totally surprised. I did, admittingly, like strawberry, and flavors of me are always a little whatever. Crap. Good? Just try it, because I'm gonna <laughs> Probably eat the rest of it. Deck that thing. <laughs> what kind of cookie is it? Delicious. <laughs> it's like a delicious kind of almost like I'd say oatmeal-ish cookie. That's how I describe it. I don't really know if it's oatmeal cookie, but it's like creamy. That's so good. It's strawberry. Yeah, it's that like mm -hmm. cream cheese like top or something. This stuff. Yeah, I don't it's, it's yummy. Strawberry shortcake or a cream cheese cookie uh, or whatever. It's good. It's good. This is a uh, like this is amazing. This one. Go to beyond, go, <laughs> go to beyond the batter and just be like, I want this one, that one. Show them the video. Mm. It's so good. Crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to two of these squares. I'm gonna start with this one again. I don't actually fully exactly know what it is. I kind of forget, Show but like all gooey on this one looks so good. Yeah, we got <laughs> gooeyness in there, but it's definitely like chocolate and marshmallowy and gushy, and it looks really nice. So. I'll give you the first bite. This one. Go for it. <laughs> Make it a mess. Supporting plate. <laughs> How is it? It's really good. What is it? I don't it? know. It'd be better at knowing what it is. Mmm. <laughs> I'm getting lots of like cinnamon in there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Almost reminds me of a graham cracker. Well, I wonder if it's supposed to be s'mores. Oh, maybe. I bet it is. Marshmallows and yeah. stuff on top. Marshmallows on top. A chocolate layer, literally a chocolate layer in between. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And like a graham cracker thing. I think it's s'mores. That's it good. It's good, yeah. I'm very impressed. And literally, it's cool. It's literally like a chocolate layer in between it. I like it. Muy bien. S'mores. Next, this is a lemon brownie. So, I've never seen a lemon brownie before. But it looks delectable. Obviously, icing on top, lemon drizzle, and then a white lemon brownie. So, cheers. Good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this reminds me of the um, got a lot of cupcake vibes. That icing on top, that lemon drizzle, brings me back to the days of those delicious cupcakes. Try. Your supporting plate. Supporting <laughs> Like the brownie b bit is like super, super soft and moist. Mm -hmm. I like, it's definitely not like a brownie. Like a brownie, when I think of brownie, there's a chocolate gooey. Might think of a lemon ring pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a lemon square. Mm -hmm. It's like a big lemon square, but it's, it's good. good. Mm -hmm. I like that actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like lemon again to flavor, I'm like usually hit or miss on. I'd eat that. Moi bien. Next is something that's near and dear to my heart. I really like Nanaimo bars, and this is one with mini eggs on it. So I'm super excited for this. Just look at it, delicious. So again, for those who don't understand or don't know what it is, generally the bottom is like coconut. I know sometimes people put nuts in it. It's like a thick kind of dense chocolate layer. Then you have this yellow layer, which is like a creamy layer. And then the top is basically just a layer of chocolate, which is, I have no complaints about that. So I'm gonna try this one. 
You want to give it a first go? So you have mixed... I know, I have mixed feelings about Nanaimo bars. Kayla, Kayla, I have heard in the past this isn't her favorite dessert, but... I will try it. It's one of my yeah. favorite desserts, so... I'll try it because you're so excited about it. Well, oh, you... <laughs> I almost took the, whole, took the whole chocolate piece with it. We got some move, movement there. That is, that is a piece of chocolate. I am, that makes me even more excited. Let's try to... Mmm. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. We're like having an eggy chocolate bar. What's in the center of it? Like it's like a cream, like a really nice light okay. cream. Holy crap. Just look how thick that piece of chocolate is on top. <laughs> this is phenomenal. It's really like having a chocolate bar. Enjoy it. An enhanced chocolate bar. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> it's good. I told you it'd be What's good. On, what is it? Coconut on the bottom? Yeah, so it's like a chocolate. Yeah, it tastes really it, coconut. -y. It's a chocolate layer, like full of coconut. I know sometimes it's nuts. Obviously, this place is uh, peanut free, so they don't do nuts. But like when my mother makes them, she puts like I think it's walnuts and all this stuff in them. Interesting. That yeah. was really good. Really good. Like the, the thick chocolate bar on top. Like it's literally like I eating a it. chocolate it was... bar. Yeah. Like it's super impressive. It's like it's like a chocolate bar and a brownie and like some other kind of creamy square all in one. Hmm. Another bar. I've been in so long. Mm. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Next, this is a butter tart square. I love butter tarts and pecan pies. So I'm sure I'm going to like this one. I'm going to try this bite. It's like mounded up a little bit more. You can see where the edge was. This is going to be sweet, I bet, but it is damn going to be delicious because everything has been delicious so far. So <laughs> give it a try. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. It looks so good. Sugary, gooey. It's like a butter tart on a square. Very buttery. Yeah. Taste the butter. Try. That's really good. It's that like sweet, almost you know, candied sugar aspect. Mm -hmm. mm. I almost get like they don't have maple in them, but I almost get like maple vibes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Very good, guys. Butter square. Next, the cheesecakes. Eggy cheesecake looks so good. Eggy cheesecake looks good. You can see that there's literally like eggies in it, and then obviously the eggs on top with cream. And then this is the cherry one. This also looks very, very delicious. So, ladies first. No thanks. Try whatever one you want. We're gonna try first. Egg one first. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Gotta have it all. Good? Mm -hmm. Do you want the egg? I don't know if those are eggs on the inside. There's something else. It's chocolate chips? I think so. I don't think they're eggies. We'll find out. I ate one. I'm gonna chocolate chip. Let's see. That's really, really good though. Going back to that cheesecake. I'll get the eggy. I'll get the whipped cream and that bottom of that bite. Mm -hmm. All in one, mm -hmm. maybe, if it'll work. There you go. Whipped cream side, cheesecake mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So good. Mm. So creamy. Like the cheesecake itself is really good. Yeah. Even on, with nothing. Yeah. On the scale of like cream cheese levels of cheesecake, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Like sometimes you have cheese, a uh, cream cheese, blah blah blah. Sometimes you have a <laughs> cheesecake which has so, like so much cream cheese flavor. This is a lighter cream cheese flavor, but it's actually phenomenal. Super soft. The sweetness, wow. Mm -hmm. Next. I want this bite with the purple on the side. <laughs> Cherry. Bite with the purple? Yeah. Whipped cream? That, well, it's the cherry leaking all down it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. It looks like a really like rich, dense cherry sauce. Oh, the cheese, the cherry sauce is so good on the top. Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Like it? Mm -hmm. I, I love cheesecake. <laughs> I figure it's gonna be like a, probably a sweet, ooh, that is good. I know. I didn't even try it. 
So like a sweeter-ish bite with that cherry sauce. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. The loveliness, the lovely, lovely, loveliness of that cheesecake. The cherry actually, it's a perfect level of sweetness and tartness. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I thought it was gonna be a little bit sweeter, but the cheesecake made all the sweetness and the cherry just gave it a lovely cherry flavor. I'm super impressed with that. Yeah. It's actually like, this screams like Christmas. Like, oh, yeah. To me, yeah. cherry cheesecake, That's what call. Yeah. have me at Christmas. So with that everybody, hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. Do you enjoy? <laughs> I enjoyed. Lots of desserts. Yeah, lots of desserts. There's no shortage. So uh, with that everybody, hope you enjoy the rest of this video, or hope you enjoyed this part of the video, I should say. Really recommend again Beyond the Batter. We gotta try the cupcakes, and they're absolutely phenomenal. And now I get to try all the other things on the menu. A lot of them, absolutely phenomenal. Cheesecakes, ten out of ten. Nine bars, all the squares, ten out of ten. What's your favorite thing for today? Oh, that's so hard. Um, What's your favorite cookie? That strawberry cookie. I agree. Which, which is surprising. Yeah, <laughs> I had the I, I had again not I had the low expectations, but I was pleasantly surprised. That is my favorite cookie. What's your favorite square? The lemon. Probably, Lemon? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with the uh, Eggy Nanaimo bar. I really, really like that. Um, one of my favorites. And then what about the cheesecakes? The cherry cheesecake, which no, is surprising. I have yeah. to agree. <laughs> the cherry one is just so damn good. And I'm sure that this is one they have like all year round versus this the uh, seasonal Easter one. Mm -hmm. So everybody, thank you so much. Till next time. Stay happy, hungry, happy eating. Any words? No. Gotta be on the batter. <laughs> Enjoy. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time.